So welcome back to Windy Hill. Uh, last night we got some uh, needed rain and not really needed rain because I I uh, had planned to till up all the garden today and that's probably not going to happen because it's too wet. Uh, but we're going to get some things done and uh, I've got some a few new things that I've done uh, since the last time we talked and, and yes it's been more than a week but uh, we'll see what we can't uh, get done today anyway. It's pretty wet out here. Uh, this year I'm gonna try to, uh, I'm gonna try to trellis some uh, cherry tomatoes there, just a side note. Uh, just something uh, I built a couple of years ago and uh, been wanting to do it for a while, so I'm gonna try it. I've got a lot of tomato plant. And yeah, it's way too muddy. To plow today but uh, we'll get some things done later on here today uh, in this small area here I, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and get some bell peppers in the ground and probably a couple of tomatoes uh, over here and then the main part of the garden uh, we'll just have to wait till next week uh, to do or maybe Thursday it'll be dry enough We'll see. Today I'm going to get some of these uh, beefsteak tomatoes transplanted. They're in dire need of being transplanted. I thought I'd show you a little bit about uh, uh, how, how I water uh, and, and what I use. Uh, I use what's called drip tape and it's literally just a thin tape uh, with drip emitters in it. Uh, a lot easier to use than dragging a water hose around to all the different spots. Uh, also helps to hold down on weed control, or helps in weed control. Um, because I'm not watering everything, I'm just watering the plant that I want to water uh, and giving it what it needs. Um, I get all my drip tape supplies from uh, Drip Depot. I'll put a link down below so you'll so you find it. Uh, they're they're really good people, really really nice, really knowledgeable, and can help you out a lot. Uh, I I first started using them about uh, five years ago, I believe. Uh, so good place to go. Anyway, uh, the drip tape uh, just comes in big rolls. Uh, you can get them. I think the smallest roll you can get is a thousand feet. Um, and then you have little connectors uh, that you can hook onto the end um, so you'll have a, a row end and you can stop it uh, you can also unscrew the end uh, flush it out get it ready for winter time and then use it again next year so it's it's something that's not throw you can i mean after a couple of years it's probably not gonna these the tape is going to get brittle and crack in the summer heat but um as far as being able to use it for several years um this strip tape you know i've used i've used it two years in a row and i'm uh, working on my uh second second uh, roll of it um but uh, a lot easier to use, uh, quicker than moving a water hose around. Uh, you can redesign your garden each year. So something something to look at, even even in a small garden, uh, is automating everything. Because I know everybody's life is busy, mine is busy, and there's no way I could water all these hundreds and hundreds of plants. Uh, moving a water hose around, it would it would be a full time job just doing that. Uh, something else uh, that I do uh, which will make it a lot easier uh, is fertilize. 
uh, how to fertilize all these plants, uh, uh, fish emulsion, fertilizer is what I use, um, along with uh, uh, chicken manure, uh, composted, um, along with cow manure when I can get it, uh, there are all the things that I use here on the farm. Uh, compost that I make, um, things like that. Uh, my, my fertilizer injector is the one thing I've gotten. Uh, this year I used to have to hand water, but it's a little bit more than I can hand water uh, and fertilize this year. Uh, so I've used a fertilizer injector, which uh, if you can see right there, uh, injects the fertilizer into the water system it goes out into all the plants. Uh, all the plants get fertilized um, and uh, real, real easy to use, uh, a little more automated, uh, a little less that I have to physically do. Uh, let's, uh, I guess I'll show you the different types I use because um, the drip emitters, uh, some plants, tomatoes, peppers, Things like that, they like a little less water, a little more water. Some plants like uh, water on their leaves, some plants don't like water on their leaves. Uh, lettuce, uh, spinach, Swiss chard, uh, radishes, carrots, uh, those kind of things. Love Cucumbers love to be uh, drenched in water. Um, I, I've watched my, my, uh, my lettuce and cucumbers every year, uh, they love uh, that water in the morning, uh, being able to sprinkle them with water, they just like perk up. And in the evenings too, uh, give them a, a big splash of water and they'll just perk up and, and look great. So uh, different types of emitters, different types of watering. You can do it all with drip irrigation. It's not that expensive. Um, I haven't spent that much money. The drip tape is probably the most, uh, most expensive part. The other bits and pieces are, uh, are 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 cheap so uh, look it up if you have time if you have a use for it it's, it's a great way to go there as you can see the drip emitter just dripping a little water right where I needed it there's one water in the carrots I also use them uh, in my uh, grower to uh, to water the plants. Uh, it would just be too much to kind of hand water all these plants. Well, oh, thanks for joining me. I know this is a short video, uh, but we'll see you next time. Uh, make happy memories.